Hey, this is Tilak. Welcome back to Extract Tutorial. This is our second tutorial in the beginners uh, series. If you haven't seen the first tutorial, please go and see the first tutorial because this is the explanation of that, the technical explanation of the first tutorial. Okay, now we go to the My Client Group and Data Exchange. And we are going to the uh, extract definition. I'm searching the one we have done last time. That's a demo. Okay, now we are going to the demo. In this, you know, this is that like, you know, parameter we passed, like, you know, when we ran the extract, we gave as a uh, effective date and that uh, extract was ran for the particular effective date. Now, if you know first formula, you know that how the effective date, the context is set. Without that, like when you get all the data, date tracked information without the effective date, uh, this one. Like, you know, if you, are, if you know HCM, you should know how the date track works. And you also know how the effective date play a role. Like, you know, I'm not getting into that, the date tracking concept and all this stuff. So that is where this is used, okay? And we can you can have multiple parameter. In the later session we know we define our parameter, we define our own extract, and we we know how like no, we will learn how to use it. Okay. And uh, this is a log. You can log the extract. If you log it, then it cannot be changed. And you can make it valid and invalid. You can do that. Nothing else can be changed. This is the report. That's uh, this everything else is kind of a like you know this is okay. Now we go to the design part. This is the important part. And the delivery and design is the most important part. If you see the design, there's a basically a two record, and these two record based on two different uh, data group, and this is based on one route or a root data group. If you look at the data group, root data. Okay, here there's a one problem. See, if you click the record, if you click the record, it doesn't do anything. You have to click the name, the link. You have to click that. So you always click the uh, the link. Okay. Now here you have a three parts. Like if you click that in the route level, one it says this is the most important. Per this is the user entity. This is what you used it. Okay. The, you have to understand in extract uh, fast formula what is that user entity does. Okay. Uh, if you don't know, I'll provide my like introduction. Uh, to that uh, fast formula tutorial, you can go through that. This is one link to a route. Basically, in the like, you know, if you if you want to learn as an extract, you have to understand what is route, what is a user entity, what is a database item, and what is a database group. Uh, with, without these four, like you know, you can't do much on a system extract. So try to understand this. What I repeat: user entity, route, database item, and database group. Okay. The user entity and route is the kind of a similar things. You have, uh, the SQL is defined in the route, which which the username is the user entity. That's what the user entity is. And database item is that every column which is coming out of the SQL, the other name for that is, there is a like, you know, alias you can say, there are the different names defined as a data group. Here they use a data group, not the data database items. Here you, they don't use the route, instead of that they use the user entity. But internally, what is getting used is database items and the database routes. Okay, so this is what that the user entity is used here. Okay, now what is the threading person item? Or oh, like, okay, you've seen that there are multiple threads processing the data. When the multiple thread processing the data, you have to have some key to define the threads. For example, if you like, you know, you process a uh, hundred people, the hundred people divide into the ten groups. So basically, on what base you define a different uh, 10 groups? So basically, you would, like, you know, 10, 10, 10, 10, you have to divide them. So that is, you use some key, kind of primary key, some key you use it. That is what the, the key is. The, for the threading, this is the key is used as a person ID. Actually, person ID as person ID, assignment information is assignment. That is how it goes. Okay. Uh, then these are all names. So like, you know, it's a unique name and this attack names and all the stuff. You can say like to change that to like, you know, if you say like that, you can next time it comes DG is our 
data group also you know, i can say rate data, root data group something like that i can say that okay okay now we'll come to filter what the filter does is the filter is the one basically which is allowed you to allow allow you to filter the record in the beginning okay so there is advanced uh, filtering there is a simple filtering we'll get into the uh, this is what they are using advanced this is the SQL they are using it. They are telling the percent IPM and these are, you don't need it. I'll format that the query I'll show you later. Basically you can add here more, okay. You can remove, if you want, you can remove that. Okay, if before I remove it, I'll show you the I formatted SQL, then we'll come and remove it. We don't need all these things, okay. So you can validate that and you can, you can also turn into basic. When you are turning into basic, then it change, then you can, you can select that, select the person type and say that equal to EMB, that kind of a, like, you know, you can select the database item then or a, like, you know, database group, you can define yours, okay. And uh, this is, if you know the SQL, this is the best one, okay. But you have to know what are the columns used in the SQL and the, what the alias used in the SQL, that's the things you have to know. Okay, I'll also show you how that works, probably in the this tutorial, the next tutorial, I'll show you where it is coming from. Okay. Okay. Now we'll come to the record. Okay. Now what it does in our record, basically the ask the two child of this one. So basically it is giving a child's child. So we don't get into that for the timing now. Now we'll come to this record. Okay. Now when you are coming to email, there's, there should be some relation between the person and email. Am I right? Because since it is there, you can't say that like, you know, this is, a, though it's, defines a child, there should be some relation. Okay, people coming to relation, we'll see what is the database item is used. Here, the, the, the what, sorry, user entity is used. This is a per email address UV, that is a entity is used. Now, how it is related to the, this one? This is what defines how these two are related. When you come into the data group, say extract person ID, that is coming from that route, that is, uh, Per ext set person UE, am I right? Like if you go per ext set person UE, that has got a person ID as a like you know DBA, a database group, and this has got a database group called uh, person all UE ID. Okay. Okay. So basically, this person is related to this one. So basically, this is going to bring the email of that person. That's what. That the group does that. Then I can filter. They may not have any filter here. It has got a record. Okay, now we'll come to that, that record. So now this is what the SQL, the SQL is executed here. And for every person, there's an email SQL is executed. For every person, there's that every email is executed here. For this is this SQL, you are going to get all this record. You can have more than one record for a SQL. Okay. Now we'll come to here. Now here, what is happening here is, since there's no U UE because the U that the SQL is, that the uh, uh, UE is user entity is here. Okay, so here every record that auto, that internally create a fast formula. That's what fetch the record. That is how we will see it in our uh, next uh, in the coming uh, lessons. Okay, so this one has got all the attributes. This is basically database item coming from this route or this SQL. Okay, it is more than that, but for the time you understand that this is that like you know that the columns of this SQL. So basically, date from here. Okay, I'll take one here. Now see here is the person all e email type. So basically, like this is the email type is coming out of that. So this is every this is automatically derived from here because this uh, the the database information as in the voice says is guru like text or a number or a, a date that is asked it. This is all the output number is there. Okay, it has got some advanced everything. Then also you can say hidden. If it is hidden, then you don't have to. It won't come in the XML. Why we need a hidden? Sometimes we need more information for some kind of a validation, but we don't want to explore. For example, I may not want to give a person ID, but I may use a person ID for some kind of a validation. So in this case, you can have a person ID, you can make it hidden. Then what is the record does? The record makes it like, you know, the record, sorry, okay. 
what is required as the required make, make sure unless all the information is there this record is not extracted okay now when you are coming to the record level here also you have hidden but i'm not sure why they are like you know not allowing you to change it in the edit mode i don't know it should be because i don't think it has got any kind of a they are like you know uh, kind of a catch on the door some kind of a lock on that but okay anyway the record you can define in the, uh, the record level so it means that this information is this record is not that basically that person information will come okay basically you, you are making sure this particular record is there okay so basically the above level what is that that uh, like you know unless the child is not there the parent is not uh, extracted that's what now when you are coming to the person the same images here the, that like you know that per per history person name ue this is what basically like you know getting a data and uh, if you are looking for that same thing is a person id person id so for this person id the name person id basically connected okay filter if you are looking for a filter it says it should the effective date okay here basically the effective date is between uh, the uh, like in you know, a ppn of whatever the sequels effective date started we are going to modify this one too because last time you see that that's a two person information is coming we will modify this one in our uh, future of this lessons and show you how that works okay we can more, more add some more this one the validations okay and the person name detail you have the uh, in the record level that uh, like in you know, the formulas uh, created and everything else is there like you know the zagilan is there kid is there this is only you can do it when you are creating it then when you are going to that you say the person name id you'll go to the person name id what it says is person historical name person name id that's what the group is okay i'll take this and i'll show you for the information i'll put it here and also i'll come here call i'll take a one information then in the i'll take a email address i'll show you how this information is coming okay now i am going to show you how the the formatted sql is there in the root level if you are looking here filter here and going here sorry cancel okay we are going here you said this is the route how that sql is there it basically says the percentage employee and it says the changes only n when n okay probably is uh, r r of okay r of this condition like within the hello the r of this one so here we is all docs about like you know if the changes only won't happen if the changes not only then that it says that the information has to exist changes only no okay then that is fine if the changes only is yes yeah this extract is the changes only extract then the person's information should be there in the person id and that should have been changed within the last 15 days you can change that also okay and all the information is changed in the person names information should be in the r exists in the email address so basically it is talking about two is sequel one is basically either it is not changes only that is what we are the setup is full profile or if it is changes only what should be done so basically if you are talking about here we don't need anything of this one because this is what in our case is always executing unnecessarily we don't want to get into all these things okay i am taking it out this is more than enough for us so what we do here is we remove the whole thing here and we are keeping it as it is and we if you want to validate you can validate valid say okay okay we are saving here now this is since it is well saved we should make sure this is valid so we are going here uh, looks everything is valid to me 
you can re this one you can do that again if you are doing it again here the whole thing is getting validated you got what i'm trying to say that whole uh, like the formulas uh, recombined and everything so we never recommend go and change anything into this record level formula because whenever you are doing it again the whole thing probably going to be created again or like you know you may lose your changes now we are going to back here okay I always wish like now they should allow them to run it from here like you know okay now we'll come to the deliver we already seen the deliver we aren't going to basically deliver it. for the timing the information is what you need is the name forget about everything else is there so only the delivery option is only the this name here so we go here now we cancel that we are going to run it again I'm giving the date. Okay, I give a same names. This is a unique name for every run. So I don't know why can't they default something with the date and minute. Uh, say uh, 0 to 0 5. Uh, actually, in my case, it is 4 still. So I put a 4. Uh, say 18. Okay. So that is fine. As soon as run it, submit that. Okay, it is a previous run 16. So I'm choosing it. This is the 18. I'm going, it is running. So I'm going here. Then I can see the instances how it is run here. Okay, so I can refresh this. Okay, it may take a time. We'll come back. Okay, it is completed. The SQL is completed. Now we go to the output side. Okay. Now it says extract name, like my last time, all this uh, some of the flow name is what, and all the stuff is there. Uh, now we go here. He can also go and look at the logs of, like, you know, what is happening here. So now later we'll come to that. Now we go to the extract detail delivery. Okay, we deliver this one. Okay, employees, this is one is the it. So this is easier for me to see that it may take a time to open. Now, if you see that, that this is that, okay, where is that? Okay. See the same thing will come here. Get you are getting the same information. Basically, get all the parameters. Uh, flow name is that. Uh, request ID is this one. I just no, we don't have effective date. And, uh, and the person name. If you are looking for an email, the same email might be there. That is uh, Paley. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, yes. Email, email. Okay, the okay, Bailey, the guy has an email. Yes, email ID is here. Remember it. The person has got an email ID. Uh, the second person has got an email ID. Look like okay. Anyway, it's the same record comes because we remove, we edited that uh, the validations or the criteria still is the same. Now, if you are looking here, it probably has got a two names in our next lessons. We change this one and we'll see that how that works. Okay. And also our next lesson, we see that how that the route is defined, how the DBA, how the database groups works. We'll, we'll get into that more detail of that. Okay. I don't want to have a much bigger uh, lesson. So like until I see you next time. Bye.